Absorbed in prayer, Ignatius once walked along the river to St. Paul Church, a little more than one mile outside of Manresa. When he had walked for a while, he sat down by the wayside and looked at the river. And as he sat there, his eyes opened within him. Everything appeared to him in a new light. It was as if he had become a different person, since he recognized God's work in everything. Ignatius of Loyola was born in 1491 in Spain. He was a member of the minor nobility and had great desires, great dreams to advance his family, his name, and to do heroic deeds. In a battle in Pamplona in Spain, and he was wounded by a, a cannonball and was forced to return to his castle at Loyola to recover. During that time, he read two books, The Lives of the Saints and The Life of Christ, and was inspired by those books in dreaming to think not so much of his old dreams for glory and advancement, which left him dry and sad, but thought more about following Christ and doing great deeds for the Lord as the saints did, and that gave him a great joy and consolation. As part of his desire to follow the Lord, he decided to make a pilgrimage to the Holy Land and set out for Barcelona to take the boat. Because of the plague, he was not able to enter into Barcelona and so remained in a small town, Manresa, living in a cave. It was there that the Lord began to teach him as a teacher would teach a schoolboy about his new spiritual life. He moved from inward looking to outward looking and his experience of the discernment of spirits, of understanding what God wanted for him, became the basis for the book that he would write the spiritual exercises, which would help the church and help us even today to discern spirits and to find out what the Lord wants for us. The spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius is a period of, of exercises that cover four weeks. They focus on our sinfulness, on our creation by God, on the decision of God to incarnate into the world in Jesus Christ, the following of Christ, his crucifixion and the resurrection, leading to the final experience of being sent into the world to help proclaim the gospel of Christ. Those four weeks become the basis for a Jesuit's understanding of the mission that they're given.